This video is going to show you how to check the file sizes of your web pages using the Web Developer Toolbar in Firefox. As of this video in 2012, it's available for Firefox and for Chrome, but personally I like Firefox a little bit better, so that's the one I'm going to show you today. First off, you have to be in Firefox. So I've got that open, and you need to do a Google search for Web Developer Toolbar. It should be one of the first ones that's not an ad, so it should be the one that is at the address for addons.mozilla.org. So if you click that one, you'll come to a page, here we go, and this is the pretty standard add-ons page whenever you want to add anything to Firefox. So I'm going to add this one. You wait for the download, and a few seconds later it's going to tell you that you can install now. After it's installed, you don't need to make a contribution or anything, it is free you will need to restart Firefox. It'll go away and then it'll come right back. Good. And I'll know it's working because I've got this brand new toolbar up across the top. This is what I want to see. So I've got a couple of things I need to show you on how to check your file pages or your file sizes. The first is that with this button information you can take any page and view the document size. And this is going to give you a list of all the HTML files, the CSS files, the images, the JavaScripts, anything that goes into making this web page. And you can see that this is my current file size. So if I open up the images one, you can see that I've got one image that I specifically made to be 571 kilobytes, which is a huge file on the web. Half a megabyte is way too big. Uh, any background image should be well under 100 kilobytes preferably under 50. So that means I've got some work I need to do on this one. So that's on this little page that I've got here, this little fake uh, biography on Jonathan Swift. But I do want you to know that there are these two sizes here. There's the size and there's the uncompressed size. Now these files were actually sitting on my desktop. This little folder right here is where I pulled this from. Let me show you what, this, what happens when I do this on an actual site that's online. The Jonathan Swift one, you can see it's on my desktop. But this one is a real online website. So I'm going to try this again under View Document Size. You can see that I've got two numbers now. The size is the information that's compressed and sent across the internet. The uncompressed size is when the browser receives that information, it decompresses it, and that's how big it inflates to. So the number that you're absolutely worried about is the smaller one, size, because that's the compressed size across the internet. That's how much information, that's how much bandwidth you're going to be paying for. I also want you to know that all of these pages uh, give you quick access, or this toolbar gives you quick access to uh, the HTML validator. Uh, this is my online example, so if you click under tools, there's a validate HTML, which will go and just automatically send this to the HTML validator that you're used to. Now I've specifically made this local one, we'll do the same thing, but you, you don't do it through the, quite the same button. You only validate HTML when it's on a website you validate local HTML when it's on yours. I made this one and it's got a lot of errors still, but if you're familiar with the validator you'll probably recognize some of, the, some of these. I don't have the meta encoding and I don't have any alt tags and I think I used align improperly on one of the, um, one of the cells, or one of the divs. So that's the web developer toolbar. It'll give you a uh, a lot of options, a lot of information, and it really does become your best friend as a web designer. Happy coding!